Hello everyone. Oh, you are doing very well in your studies. Today's lesson is reviewing past year chemistry examination questions for year 2022. This will be continuations from the past presentation on multiple choice questions. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number 21, part of the periodic tables is shown. Which element is a metal? So on the left hand side, this is the sodium. And the A is actually represent hydrogen. And from the right hand side is the argon. And this the whole thing is a metal. So the answer for this question, which element is a metal? The answer is C. The element sodium, which is here, to argon form period three of the periodic table. This is the argon. Which row describe the trend across period three from left to the right? As you can see, number of outer shell electron is increases from sodium to argon. And in terms of metallic character, is decreasing. And in terms of the group number, is increases. So the most suitable answer for number 22 is C. Lithium, sodium, and potassium are elements in group 1 of the periodic table. Which statement about these elements is correct? If you refer to chapter metals property, it describes about the answer of the lithium, sodium, and potassium. Where the answer is lithium has the highest melting point and the lowest density. Let's look into question number 24. Which statement describes a transition element? If you look under chapter transition chemical properties, the answer for this would be it can act as a catalyst and some of its compounds can also act as catalysts. Number 25, which diagram represents the arrangement of the outer shell electron of a noble gas? Refer to chapter 4 under title Deducing Electronic Structures, where it shows helium consists of two atoms for relative atomic mass. So, two atoms. And it also consists of four relative atomic mass. The most suitable answer for this is A. And which statement about the general properties of metals are correct? Metals react with oxygen to form basic oxide. Metallic oxides are basics in nature because they react with dilute acids to form salt and water. They also react with water to form metal hydroxide which are alkaline and in nature because this metal hydroxide release OH or ion in solution. So let's look into the statement one. They are good conductor of heat and electricity, yes. And they also react with oxygen to form basic oxide. So the answer is B. Let's look into the reaction of three metals in the oxide are shown. When the metal one add dilute hydrochloric acid to metal, what will happen? It will react. Okay. 
in terms of a heat metal oxide with carbon, it also react. So in this, which is the order of the activity of this metal from most reactive to least reactive? So the answer for this number 27 is C. Which uses of the metal shown are correct? So, aluminium is used as a food containers and the stainless steel is used as cutlery. So, the answer for number 28 is D. You can refer to some uses of metal. And which statement about the reaction in the blast furnace is correct? The reaction between oxygen and carbon is exothermic and it is responsible for increasing the temperature of the blast furnace. So the answer for this will be carbon react with oxygen and heat the furnace. So iron rust, when exposed to air, which two substances in air cause iron to rust? So the iron react with water and oxygen to form hydrated iron three oxide, which we see as a rust. So the answer for this is C. Fertilizer are used to provide three of the elements needed for the plant. Which two compounds would give a fertilizer containing all three of this, of this element? So, refer to chapter carbon, nitrogen, sulfur and their compounds. Where KNO3 is referring to potassium nitrate and NH4-3PO4 is referring to ammonium phosphate nitrogen phosphorus and potassium and most fertilizer contain ammonium salt and phosphate which means that it consists NH4-3PO4 and also ammonium salt ammonium phosphate ammonium sulfate potassium ammonium phosphate so the answer would be D and which process produce methane? What is methane? Anytime organic materials like food scrap decompose, they can be expected to produce methane and carbon dioxide. And there are several commonly used methods of aerobic composting that cap the production of methane to minimum while composing. So the answer will be decomposition of vegetation. Which statement about sulfur dioxide are correct? Sulfur dioxide is colorless gas. A liquid below minus 10 Celsius or under pressure with a characteristic hunger order more soluble in pour water than in hot water. And in the presence of water, sulfur dioxide is able to decolorize substances. And specifically, it is used for reducing bleach for paper, delicate materials such as clothes. So, sulfur dioxide is used as a bleach is one of the answer. And also, one and three, sulfur dioxide decolorize acidify potassium manganate 7. So the answer is A. And what are the products where limestone or calcium carbonate is heated strongly? When limestone is heated strongly, the calcium carbonate, it contains absorbed heat endothermic and decompose to form calcium, calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The answer is C. And in which list are the compound 
in the same homology series. And refer to introduction to organic chemistry, CH3OH, methanol, C2H5OH, ethanol, and homologous series is alcohol, and functional group is OH, and name ending is OL, and C3H7OH is propan 1OL. So the answer is number two only. And which row about aqueous aquinic acid and dilute hydrochloric acid is correct? So the answer is C. Both contain carbon and both contain hydro, uh, both contain carbon, which is no, the answer. Both contain hydrogen is yes, and both react with carbonate is yes. And some properties of colorless liquid L are listed. So the characteristic of L is it boils at 65 Celsius. When added to water, two layers form which do not mix. And it does not react with sodium carbonate. And also, it has no effect on bromine water. So, the explanation on the hexane cannot form hydrogen bond with water. So, water molecules experience much more attractions to one another than they do to hexane. Water molecules and hexane molecule cannot mix readily. Which already have this answer when added to water two layers form which do not mix. And thus hexane is insoluble in water. And hexane is all single bond and bromine doesn't break those. And sodium carbonate will not dissolve in hexane. So that means it does not react with sodium carbonate. So the most suitable answer for L is B, hexane. And 38, a molecule of compound P contains two carbon atom and four hydrogen atom. So which row represent P? So the answer for this is ethane. And M is actually represent 28 value. We add with aquas bromine. And this is a very um, easiest answer where you can get right. The equation representing the reaction of hydrocarbon with water. What is the chemical equations for the hydrocarbon? Definitely C2H4. So X is actually 2H is actually 4. So the answer suitable here is C. Ethyl alcohol is C2H5OH and is prepared industrially by the reaction of ethylene C2H4 with water. So the answer for this is C. And number 40, many molecules of J join together in a reaction R to form a long chain molecule K. So K is the only product. Which row describe molecule J, reaction R, and molecule K? Explanation refer to chapter polymers. So, by definition, polymers is a large molecule built up from smaller unit called monomers. Monomers is a small reactive molecule that react and join together with itself or another molecule to form the repeated unit of polymer. So in this case, J refer to monomer, R refer to another molecule, which is addition, and K is actually polymer. The answer for this is B. With that being said, wish you all the best in your study.
and please subscribe to Jones Study Lab YouTube channel and follow me at Jones Study Lab Instagram. You can get customized note at Beacon page or to access to the Beacon page, you can press the link at Jones Study Lab Instagram. Thank you very much.